Hi everybody, Clark Smith here, and uh, and I have here my 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 wife with a relatively recent vintage <laughs> <laughs> uh, from uh, 2017. So we're coming right up on it's our right on the glass. our right up here on our our, our second uh, anniversary. anniversary is coming up, and it's also my birthday today. And the biggest present I ever got is that. Uh, Ruthie decided that she wants to join the company and uh, uh, sort of do the books and, and uh, back up all the admin stuff so that it'll free me up to, uh, to concentrate more on making and selling wine and writing about it and writing songs about it and all the things that I'm uniquely good at and uh, less of that uh, administrative burden which you actually like I do and I really hate. So. <laughs> I'm a logistics nerd. Yeah. <laughs> so we're throwing a, a going into business sale, and uh, we have some some wines here that we're particularly emotionally attached to that had to do with that uh, that we poured at our wedding, and uh, and uh, so we're going to put those on a big sale, uh, and then we have a couple of other things that are just uh, kind of closeouts that uh, we're going to uh, offer. Uh, a, a good deal on this uh, this penny farthing Chardonnay. Now it's an 09, but you guys know that uh, my Chardonnays tend to hold up pretty well. So we're going to taste that and make sure you're happy about it. And you're happy about it. Okay. And then the other is we've just got a few cases left, 22 cases of the of the 2014 Saint Laurent, and we want to clear that out and make room for the 2015. So that's uh, we're going to taste through these wines, and then uh, later on we'll. We'll tack in uh, uh, a little bit of music that we make together. So let's just get started. Uh, I guess we should start with uh, with the with the whites. Uh, so let's do the well, it's sort of white. This is the the uh, 2018 uh, Grenache Rosé from the uh, uh, from the Bates Ranch in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's a, it's a bone dry Grenache rose. And this is the 2014 that I tried to make into a rose and it didn't really work. So we ended up turning it into sparkling wine, and I think it's really quite wonderful. We poured this at our uh, reception. At, at the reception. Actually, we had how many receptions? Five. I count six. Let's see here. We have okay. the church. Yeah, actual, well, we had the real one. You the know. actual reception and then on the road for five different places. The, yeah. Six. Well, let's A see. Lot. Four. New Jersey and, and Virginia and uh, Friday Harbor and uh, North Dakota. North Dakota. So I think and Westminster. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's six. How All right. many it is. So here, here we go. Uh, and we'll just... Uh, just pour it into regular wine glasses here. But this is a this is a brute, so it doesn't it's a it's a brute zero. It doesn't have any sugar at all, but it does have a wonderful boatload of flavor. Uh, it's a 2014, so it's the first year I made wine off this vineyard. And uh, so, what do we what do we get? <laughs> so, you know, it smells like it's been on the yeast for, for four or five years. And actually, it was only eight months, but because we put it through malolactic, that lowered the acidity and also gave it this really rich, mm -hmm. kind of yeasty yeah. character. And then there's, of course, it's Grenache, so there's strawberries, and the Bates Ranch seems to give this. this uh, Honeydew melon. Thing. Uh huh. Um, exactly. Do you have anything to add to any of that? And we're just it's, down to. Everybody loves it. Yeah, it's true. Everybody <laughs> loves it. And, and I really think that this is a better style for sparkling wine than what they make in Champagne, where the base wine is really kind of thin and, and bland and, uh, and extremely tart. Uh, so this is much, much richer than that. Now that wine uh, retails for, for $60, but boy have we got some deals for you. So, uh, uh, and let's get into the rosé. 
and this retails for $30. Uh, just a tiny little bit of color. This is all red Grenache, you understand, even though... And the color's up at the Well, uh, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> but you can see that there's, this looks like a white wine, and uh, subsequent vintages have had more color, so... I don't really understand Grenache color. I think it's just kind of crazy. It has this kind of neon peach color to it. Uh, and the other thing that uh, that this rosé has that the sparkling wine does not have is that little bit of acacia wood that gives it that that honeydew melon character. Now I'm sorry, the sort of honeysuckle. Okay. Uh, bone dry, but quite mm -hmm. lush in the mouth. Yes. Mm. Love it. And uh, you can. Pretty much have that with anything. Okay, now the big event is the red. So the, these two wines were picked on the same day in 2014. And I just found a part of the vineyard that didn't have that much color. And then the rest of it we made into this into this red, which everybody loves. And uh, and, and so tell, tell them about, this is all your idea. The glass? Yeah. Is it? I'm going to. I'm going to put one of these in front of the camera. So. We had a sort of a theme for our wedding ceremony, A Summer Night and You and Paradise, which was a, a poem, a Garrison Keillor poem, that was set to music in something I was working on at the time with the Choral Project. And we had that uh, on the pro wedding program, and we had it etched on the glasses for guests at the wedding ceremony. Uh, to take home as a souvenir. To take home with our names and the uh, one thing year. Since we had so many receptions, we had to, <laughs> we had to <laughs> think of the, all these generally the month of August. There's these boxes of glasses all over the yes. country. Now, this Grenache is not a huge one, but it has wonderful depth to it. it a sort of an earthiness that we found out comes from the tar wheat that grows in the vineyard. And so it's very rhone like uh. And uh, when we get home, we're going to get Ruthie on the piano, and I'll get out my guitar, and we'll, uh, we, we, we wrote a, a, a little song that we sang in, at, in the wedding called the, the Wellsmith Blessing Cup. Right. We shared a common cup with our guests and we poured this wine and had our the members of our wedding party take the glasses down the rows so that everybody would have a chance to taste it, shared a, a sort of a common cup between about five people each. And uh, yeah, this is the experience of the, the Blessing Cup between us as we celebrated the two kinds of communities that came together when yeah. we got married. Right. Mine's TTBB and hers is SATB. Well, and yours are winemakers <laughs> and mine are singers. <laughs> I got some singers. A few. <laughs> More than a few. But I'm all male chorus and, and uh, barbershop quartets and stuff. And Ruthie's always been in mixed choruses. Or treble. Uh, yeah, so. All right, so here's the deal. These three wines... No, this is 30, 60, and uh, 40. So, so that's $120 worth of wine. Uh, we're going to put the what we call the Grenache triplets deal is $69.99 uh, if you just want to sample all three. If you want, uh, if you can get up to a case, we'll ship it to you for free. So you could get four of those if you wanted to. Uh, but the other thing is, if you just want a case of this wonderful sparkling wine, uh, what do we got that? It's, so that would normally be $720. We're going to sell it for $275 a case with free shipping. And then the Grenache, the red, the rouge, uh, is normally, you know, that would be $480. 
but we're selling it for one ninety nine a case with free shipping. Well, they last. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so we got a couple other things here. Uh, so the first thing is, let's look at this Chardonnay, penny farthing Chardonnay. Uh -huh. uh, a penny farthing is an old time bicycle, so that's what's on the label. This was my second label, and, uh, and uh, I just have very few cases of this stuff lying around. I think maybe eight or nine cases. And so we're just going to blow it out at $110, excuse me, $120 a case with free shipping. Uh, so you'll be paying. Ten bucks a bottle for something quite special. This is from uh, Santa Barbara County, which makes uh, the Chardonnays in Santa Barbara are amazing. They're they're like orange marmalade, and they age really well. Uh, it's only just a little kiss of oak on this. It's it's really more a rich fruity thing. And look at that beautiful color. It's still it's almost a green gold sort mm -hmm. of. So it's in very good shape. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and then, uh, well, tell us what you think. I don't think you've had this wine in a while. Mm. Fresh. See what I mean by orange marmalade? It's just okay. Yeah. It's really rich. It is, without being heavy. Um, I personally am a fan of Oki Buttery Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> I am alone in this. Well, <laughs> you're not alone, but I... But, but, uh, but that isn't what Clark makes. Between the two of and us. this is so lovely. It, it has a green quality, a really fresh green quality to me. Yeah. You know, I, I agree. It's, it's because it hasn't gone through malolactic. Mm. And it still has a little, little acidity to it. Mm -hmm. And just this... You know, it came right out of the fermenter this way with all of this rich uh, orange. Uh -huh. uh, okay, well, good. Uh, and then we're uh, we're kind of in love with Saint Laurent, uh, Saint Lawrence, the guy with the seaway. He was the uh, he was the bishop of Rome, and he was martyred on uh, August tenth. That's when we're having our anniversary, our, our party. anniversary party. <laughs> hey, we'll have to pour plenty of this stuff. Uh, but anyway, that that's when you pick it, and it's uh, it's one of the principal grapes in Austria and the Czech Republic. It's a descendant of Pinot Noir, and it's uh, the thing is, it's very the tannins are very soft. And so, I was taught. The University of Bordeaux that you keep your acids really low in red wines because acid means salivation and that means protein from your saliva which can make the tannins really coarse but in this case these tannins have pajamas on them or something uh, so they they're very soft and uh, and you and, and the nose you know, I almost think of this as having kind of an Eastern European personality, you know. Mm -hmm. it's a, there's a lot of depth and almost a kind of cynical thing in the nose. Mm -hmm. But what I find this wine is best with, uh, you could treat it like a white wine, because it's got that crisp acidity. Uh. And so this is the thing you want with, with uh, sushi. Or, uh, sure. or, or oysters, or you know, other kinds of shellfish, and, and it'd be great with a paella. So it, yeah. I, I really think it's a, a seafood wine. Mm. And uh, we're letting that go. We just have uh, 22 cases left of it, and so it's normally four four hundred and eighty dollars a case. We're gonna. We're going to sell that one for one ninety nine, and free shipping, just like, uh, uh, just just like the others. And uh, you know, if you wanted to throw in a, once you get over twelve bottles, shipping is all free. So may, maybe you'd like to get a case of that, 
and uh, and 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 you know just the the Grenache triplets and and uh, and we ship that all free for you. Well, also since it's summer, uh, we can hold these wines for you until you'd like uh, like to receive them mm -hmm. when it's not so hot, and so uh, we. We offer free storage uh, for as long as you want. Basically, at our at our warehouse, we're we're under the minimum, uh, so it doesn't cost us anything to hold uh, Winesmith wines for you uh, and just ship them when you're ready. So, so thanks a lot for go into uh, business with me. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go into business. And a lucky boy.